Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. I'm back at my local fish shop because he's got a cracking export quality order of coral in from oceanpets.com.au. Batu sent down some crack, absolutely cracking stock. So we're gonna unbox that. And then soon after doing that, we've got some fish to unbag as well. So it's all happening here. I thought I'd bring the camera and um, take you guys along for the ride. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the corals first, and we've got four boxes from the supplier oceanpets.com.au. This is a relatively new supplier on the Australian market, and they've sent down uh, four boxes, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're talking uh, around 40 pieces per box in a store that's already quite full of coral, it's a lot of stuff to unpack, so uh, let's get into it. Nice bow banky there, we'll get that under some aquarium lighting and um, in the tank settling in. Should be a nice red. Middle again, or you want to have a little bit cold? The cold, the dark. Been in there for a while and it's still opening up. Crazy. Some, um, I mean, you can tell it's going to be a base of red, but it's got some uh, blue splashes through it with some green eyes. Good sized piece too. Hard to see the colours when they're all closed up, but. Um, We'll get them in sync. That's definitely a toxic green stem with a peachish tip. This one here, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how he settles in. Got some beautiful hammers here. This one, potentially gold. Made that four hammers. Four hammers. Good variety of size. There, eh? you got single heads, gigantics. Put it in a little bit of light. Yeah, curious. Yeah. Heads are all nice and close. Looks to have quite a bright stem too. Keen to see how this one shows up its colours once under the tank light. It's very nice. Got a big uh, lobophilia here with some uh, varied colours through it. Looks like a tealy green mouth. Gold rim, red body, some more logos, more logos. Don't drop them, that's the last thing you want to do when they've travelled this far. Some nice logos there, orange green. It's really tested under uh, sunlight, but you can see uh, green growth rim, green eyes, blue eyes, and a um, hopefully a reddish base. Um, nice size piece too, you can see my hand, I've got pretty big hands, and it's um, not quite palm size, good size piece. Oh, that one's bright. Red scully. Striped scully. Oh, there's a nice, um, you see that one there, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the carbon sitting on the flesh, hopefully that'll come off okay, but um, a nice uh, a bleeding apple there with some nice markings and uh, looks like this one could be a bit of a war paint with a red and blue. Very nice stories. For a low bit. It's so looking blue, isn't it? It's a weird off colour, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely looks to be a um, somewhat strange coloration. We'll get him under the um, tank lights and settle in. Uh, going to be a red or an orange coloured Monty. Two pieces there, one slightly smaller than the other. Yeah, so this one here has obviously been collected, it's had some form of rock boring muscle or something. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. And they've removed it all. It's good. It's good when a wholesaler checks their corals for Absolutely. things that are undesirable and removes them for you. It's a nice piece, so it's a good thing they saved it. Yeah. Might go throw this one under the kiss. Get some colour out of it. Oh yeah. Got a lot of colour just in the um, in the ambient light in the room. Yeah, a little bit of colour in him. Just need the logo, which two cracking pieces. Keen to get the camera on them a bit later.
All right, let's have a look at some of these other pieces floating in the bag here. We've got um, some Blasto, some Duncan. Actually, you can see the head's Duncan there. This Blasto is cool. It's got um, some really large heads once it uh, settles in. There's this chalice over here, which is a really strange shape. This piece here, but it's got a really cool base color. Mm, some big pieces in there to start things off. Well, awesome. blue tip toxic green stem frog sport. Yeah, nice. Well, Let him settle, settle in. Lucky dip time. So walk us through the, the process of ordering four boxes of stock. You pick out pieces or you give a general vibe or you... You just say, hey Batu, send us some nice stuff. <laughs> and he always comes through. Fair enough. Like the blood red and green bow banky, for example. Yeah, nice. I mean, do you set some sort of budget range for the total order or per piece or? No. Nope. Pretty much just give a box quantity and end up with a bit more than what I'm expecting. Okay. Some wholesalers you'll get a list and you can pick and choose off the list and you'll get a percentage of that, but find where possible if you just let the wholesaler do their job kind of thing. Yep, yep. Have a good relationship with them and just know what each other like and what to expect. You always get the better orders that way. Yeah, and ultimately if the wholesaler sending you stock you can sell, it's ultimately what they can sell too. Yep, it means I'm buying more next one. Yeah. Quick opportunity to have a look at the corals we've got out so far, including all of these uh, euphilia here. Just while they uh, float and acclimate to the uh, water temperature, you can see some of the uh, colors starting to show through, which is really cool to see. I've also got to try and find some room in the shop to uh, fit this huge euphilia order in. Mind you, they've only gone from sitting in the box to floating in the tanks at this stage, and there's still another box to go. Nice red sun area. I'm surprised at the pricing on, on Red Sun Arias of, like, they used to be so expensive, now quite reasonably priced. Yeah, they're, um, hey, 120 on average. Yeah. So it is funny how, uh, corals come and go through trends. Is that a bower? Yep. Slimy bow. <laughs> nice dark, rich red compared to the orange behind it. Yeah, nice. Guess what, Sam? Hammers, torches. It's another box of euphilia. <laughs> <laughs> like all of them. Except for the Aussie <laughs> Oh, you got lots of space for them. It's not a bad thing because um, your filly is a pretty hot item at the moment. Probably best I go and make some more space than that. <laughs> So Dave's going to frantically work away whilst I uh, follow him around with a camera while he uh, tries to find some room for all these corals. Another chance to have a quick look at those that are floating in the bags there. Some absolutely cracking pieces, including some uh, beautiful scollies. Dave's already got a good collection of scollies there, but he's got some even more beautiful scollies now. Check out that one. It's a very strange pattern um, with the teal, the purple, and the red through it. Um, it's a, quite a medium-sized scolly too. And then there's this piece here, which is a really nice uh, wall paint. Um, it's got a nice uh, little variety of the red and blue uh, splashed through it, which is pretty nice. You see that nice little uh, little dob of teal as well, which is cool. 
But of course, a uh, Lobo wouldn't let the Scully take the cake. And uh, this beautiful Ultra Lobo has got uh, some beautiful coloration through it. It's got that real teal center with some reds and yellows and golds and greens. Just stunning. Box number four. It's still a heap of pieces. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yep. Okay. Very large. Wow. There are also some inverts in the order, including some starfish and a few beautiful uh, bubble tip anemones. There's these uh, blue and green type ones, and this uh, stunning little rose bubble tip, which um, I say little. It only looks a little because it's uh, closed up at the moment. But soon enough, uh, you can tell by the, the size of the foot, it's going to be an absolute monster. And the colours on it are so so vibrant. So. I'm really keen to uh, come back in a day or two, check out the color there in the bag and just see how big and beautiful he gets. Now this order from Ocean Pets contained that many euphilia and in specific that many hammers that uh, Dave and his uh, team had to move the seahorse out of this tank, which, which was holding about uh, half a dozen seahorse, just to fit all these hammers in. Now. This tank isn't really set up with the uh, most ideal conditions to show off ultra-grade hammers, but some of them are just shining through with uh, really bright mouths, yellows and greens and pinks, just some absolutely cracking. Check out the little uh, little head there of uh, ultra, ultra gold uh, torch. There's a few of them in there, just some um, a really good example of um, different uh, LPS colors that you can achieve with uh, whether it be torches or hammers, just um, a really stunning collection. What are you expecting in this order of fish, Dave? Just a little mix of imports. We can't really get much at the moment, so we can we generally just take what we can get. Fair enough. Routine. Hopefully it gets a bit more normalized soon. What's that guy? It is an adult chevron tang. Yeah, right. Nowhere near as pretty as their juvenile yeah, colours, but uh, what do you do? Can't all be cute forever. Yeah, but when you're worth good money, you should. Yeah. <laughs> you at least want to. You at least want to. You put up with the um, the less cute phase when it's um, little tiny golden angel. Golden angel, yeah, nice. I'll get some pictures of him once he's out. Boy. Well, that's pretty nice fish for a little filler order. Yeah. Sorted wrasse. Uh, some carpenter's flashes. There's a blue sided, a, yeah, just some fairy and flash wrasses. Nice. I never get these Anthias right. Are they Cooper's Anthias? Dispar. They're Dispar. I think Dispar always trick me. So they're the purpley colour, whereas the um, Coopers are more of that red colour. Okay. And Chromis. Big school of Chromis. Another 20 or 30, I can't remember. Nice. <laughs> On the way the ones that are in the tank come up and have a look at the ones in the bag. Friends! Squirrels! <laughs> oh, little baby squirrel fish. Oh, that's pretty cute. He's tiny. Little fish, big eyes. Yep. Uh, come on. All right, so as Dave frantically uh, works around his shop trying to find space for these um, these beautiful fish that he's got in after the uh, coral delivery has taken up a good portion of his uh, empty tanks, I thought I'd run a little bit of slow motion footage of some of the fish that were either already in stock or fish that he got in. Check out the uh, goat fish here, always uh, pretty cool working away at um, the base of the tank. The big uh, adult emperor just was uh, giving me the evil eye, basically wondering what on earth I was doing, pointing a camera at him. And uh, this next hogfish that's about to come up here, this one here, it's a uh, Cuban hogfish, I'm pretty sure. 
a big unit just full of attitude, but um, a really cool addition to the uh, right tank. So I'm hoping he finds a home pretty soon because I'd love to see him uh, just in a tank thriving. One here that uh, is always really loved all around the world, that's the Australian tusk fish, um, harlequin tusk fish, I should say. Um, just such striking colors and uh, real little puppy dogs too. How's the way the hawkfish just like to sit down at the base of the tank and uh, roll their eyes around at everything you're doing with uh, such judgment, uh, such cool little dudes. And of course, this uh, next fish here, the um, Australian Moorish Idol, such a um, stunning, stunning fish. It's a shame they're not a little bit more reef safe. I know you can with a bit of caution. I've tried them before and it went well for a while, but ended a little bit in um, <laughs> its tears. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up here. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, pop it in the comment section down below. And as always, please consider subscribing. Till next time, guys, stay safe and keep reefing. Bye.